Hey, hey, hey. You know what? I think I'm going to actually change this layout a little bit. I might. Um, just make some space for stuff. Where is this thing? Turn that off. And that. And then I can drag this down a bit. And yeah, I think that looks good. You guys see everything? Looks like you can. Okay, um, yeah, let's let's get started with um, let's start with this new pack that Ember made. Some of these um, pads are super nice. Go with that. So I'm gonna EQ it a bit and then Okay. Might wash it out a little bit more. I don't feel like using a synth today or my main lead. Let's try like random percussive sounds. I knew these um tagged. something pretty tonal. <laughs> I'm just gonna search perk C because I want it to be in C and I don't feel like tuning it myself.
Okay, that could work. It actually is in C. Let's double check. Looks like it is. Um, so yeah, let's take this, start figuring out some sort of a motif. What are we actually, are we sticking to C? I don't want to write in C. Let's do A sharp. Um, let's get a bit of reverb on here. Try pitching this down. And I grab a chorus. That's a kind of a cool little melody. Yeah, I like that. I just want to try like other percussive sounds and see if something inspires me more. Maybe I can layer it. Group this.
By the way, hello, Gold Toast, Hassan Webritik. Can you show sometime how you prepare a DJ set in Ableton? I've never played a DJ set from Ableton. I've re like pre-recorded a DJ set in Ableton, but that's just like dragging songs onto the timeline and then sequencing them out. Like, you know, there's nothing to it really. You're just dragging and dropping. <laughs> But I don't know how to actually play from Ableton. Chris Chris, what up? Mix Warp, Julian Schwartz. Oh yes, I need to have a look at that song you sent me. Uh, Aika. Jensen, Furcloud, Parasol, KP. Yannick. Moin Moin. Bridge uh, Kick Dick. Used to swear by even tied black hole, but Valhalla Rim is just too good. In my opinion, I think black hole's like got a different purpose. You know, black hole's like my go to for that really long reverb. Anyway, let's uh like maybe try and get a cool transient out of something. That needs to go down one. Maybe two minus one. I think one of these could work. Maybe this one. Let's duplicate this again. Try drag that in. Turn it down. Kind of cool. How would this sound with a delay on it?
a Solan FL and then Russian name I can't pronounce. Dakov Web Webkit trick. Oh, I've already spoken to you. Hey, what's up, Bjorn? And Patrick. Okay. Now, um, the only problem is, kind of, I need to macro a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Map. Okay, so that should. Yeah, that's that's fun. Let's um also map sustain. That and. Uh, And then I also want to map PK to this one. PK. And PK. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Maybe make some chords.
let's see. Das hell doesn't not out. Last one needs to be like Let's have another chord in there to resolve it. third now, yeah. Mm. Maybe this could go to like, yeah.
that's pretty fun. Yeah, the whole um, everything sharp over here, I don't know. I guess it's just Ableton being bad at knowing when something is sharp, when it's flat, or when it's... I mean, technically, in the key of A sharp, these are all sharp. Yeah, no, it's right. Ableton's right, Bjorn. <laughs> Should be right. Wait, is it? A, B, C, D, E. Wait, let's just have a look at this. In the key of, so you get A sharp, then it's B sharp. That's not a C, that's a B sharp in this key. And then you get a C sharp. Yeah, D sharp, and then the next note up is going to be that. Is E in the scale? Okay, so yeah, the E is an E. No, you're right, never mind. And then... No, it's not. Hang on. Oh... Half, whole, whole. Yeah. So this F is actually an E sharp. So I take that back again, Beyond, you were wrong. <laughs> and then uh, this is going to be, that's an E sharp. That'll be an F sharp. And then G sharp. And then we're back at A sharp. So yeah. And the 
key of A sharp. These are all sharp. else do we need? See, before I had it on my other monitor, but I actually prefer keeping it small and on the same screen because I don't have to look over and use all my energy on turning my head. Um, so what do I want to do with this? Let's see, maybe we can do some cool sound design stuff.
these last two notes. Thank you. 
Actually, you know what I want to try and use is um, what am I looking for? Instrument rack. There we go. Let's see if we can find something cool with this. I can add my own key uh kicks to this thing. How do I um do I just drag them in? Yeah, I do. And then I think I just go here, do that. Oh, need to select them all. There we go. Which kick is this? loop this whole thing and just listen The 
should be one for volume. Oh, there it is. What's it map to? RVB? Oh, it's mapped to reverb? Anyway, I'm gonna have to put a utility on there. Um, no. I wanna put it on. I'm just gonna put it right here. actually such a cool workflow um, once you kind of get your head around it I think it'll go quicker and then it's like so easy to just find the right samples um, let's try adding a clap Like, um, 
I'm not too sure about this shaker. It's, it's got a nice tone, but it's a bit long, I think. Can I see the sample? Oh, this isn't even changing it. Oh, because I've got the wrong one selected. Which one have I got selected? Ah, uh, ball. Just side chain. Probably um, automate this. Shake a macro. Uh, it's called doubler. Double. Why am I not seeing it here? Shaker. Yeah, it should be under shaker. Shaker macro. Delay reverb. Uh, it's annoying. Oh. Uh. There it is. It's not doing anything.
I can do is just like put this every so often in random spots. Try adding some swaying to this. See if it helps at all.
Okay, well that was interesting doing that for the first time. This would slap as a breakbeat. Oh, don't make me do it. Let's hear how a breakbeat would sound. I'm just going to steal drums quick. Um... What do you think sounds better? Breakbeat or... I'm leaning towards this version. Yeah, I'm not feeling the breakbeat. How about a variation of that noise synth melody? I will make variations when I arrange it. Um, I also want to add a little bit of a side chain to all the other stuff. I keep doing that. Okay, how about a bass line? We don't really have one. Or at least just a sub. See how much space we actually have. Yeah, there's quite a lot of space for a sub and um Thing is, 
feel like maybe this bass line. Whole thing could probably go down. Duplicate this and make it um, just a basic sub. Part of this loop, that I want to take this and kind of have this as the Consolidate that, make it like um, one color, and then this is different color. Do you know what? I don't think I'm going to actually manage to work with this whole entire drum rack in one clip. So what I want to do is like at least split the kick and the clap and the shaker, the main shaker out. So a kick. Oh, it's going to take a long time to duplicate. Clap, kick, clap. Shaker, and then we have another channel for the rest of it. And then we take our loop here, just loop those all out. Okay, so this will be my kick. So I can just delete everything other than the kick. And then this will be clap. I 
I think with all of these samples loaded up into this drum rack, it's going to be a gigantic project. So maybe it's a bad way of working, I mean, to save space. Um, and then we want to keep the shaker. And then this will be everything other than the kick, the clap, the shaker. So perk. Now I have a bit more easy control over mixing it. There you go. I think like how I'm going to start this off is quickly name these so I don't get confused. Add um, up, up to, that's piano. This is flute thing. Bass. So I think what I want to do is just keep this going for a while and kind of filter it in over time. That's pretty cool. Start maybe going into a breakdown kind of thing over here.
I don't know, I'm not feeling the piano. into a group. Now what? Flute thing could maybe... Start getting changes here. Maybe some harmonies. Kind of like it just hanging around on this note over here. Thank you. 
can drop in here. This is that. This will work to kind of just keep uh, this flute thing. Hang on, let me just color this nice in color so it looks like a flute. There you go. And now maybe I should. Just keep on doing this. And this thing. Thank you. 
Maybe we can delete this space here or introduce a new chord progression or something. So I think this chord needs to change because it's playing the same bass note. Maybe I can make it that. Kind of like an inversion. What is that? I don't know if that's going to work. Let's hear this. Oh, that's ugly. Note in this. Nope. Maybe what I need to do is just change this up here. Try this. Is that right? No. Just want some like change to this chord progression. Let's try it again. big emotions. Oh, where can I go from here? Something like that. Mm. 
Does that make sense? Yeah, that works. Now let's see if it fits the track. Thank you. 
think over here is where we can probably take this up and go a bit nuts with it. Um, we fade it all the way up like this, same thing. Start mixing in another. Hang on, I got an idea. While this comes up, we need to like really bring this in too in the background. <laughs>
weird about that last note. not working there but it works here um, it's because the baseline and the chord progression is different so it doesn't make sense anymore so I think I have to just get either get rid of those or keep this chord progression here change this chord progression here and change those notes that's actually probably the best idea Keep that going there. And rewrite.
need to figure out how long this should be. Forty-eight bars, or thirty-two. I think that's how long. out highs and lows.
looks much more palatable. Okay. Maybe in this one we can go. Start sending this into that big reverb. do here to make this cooler I think maybe by playing with redux let's try redux Pretty cool. something here quickly. I have saved. I've been hitting Control S. 
But thanks for the reminder. That was pretty cool. And if I just put it behind a little bit of reverb, just a standard reverb to kind of push it back a bit. It's not exactly very subtle. Maybe I can unsync this. some more feedback. Well, did I replace it? I don't know if that's cool or not, but maybe it needs a side chain of sorts. This whole thing, it's like a cool effect and everything, but takes away from like the groove of this beat just coming back in. And another thing is, I think this is a bit too much. I think maybe this just needs like, um, Nice kind of wish.
Damn it, I have to record that entire reverb tale, otherwise it's not gonna work. That'll do. Too quick. Take this bit and reverse it. listen to what we've got so far. Maybe I should put a...
I want like a 909 clap or 808. I want like big um, orchestral like impact. What's that? Yeah, like these. I love these sort of things. Another one could probably be used.
like that hit. That one. like a, a chant. Yeah, there we go, one of these. Maybe, maybe that last one. this hit in
Yeah, that's pretty cool, I think.
Okay. <clears throat> what interface do I use? Uh, it's called Native Instruments Complete Audio 6. Um, um, try using Tremolo on the reverb tail. Disclosure does it. Um, yeah. Yeah, it could be cool, like a, you know, like a stutter kind of rhythmic reverb tail, but. I don't know, kind of don't feel like doing that. <laughs> um, how do you make the snare so tight with the kick? Um, it's all just really sample choice and setting them at the right volume levels. I haven't like processed them together or anything. Like this clap is already really like the transients really um, compressed. Well, not the transient, the transient is uncompressed and the rest is really compressed. So it's got like a super s strong smack to it. And then it's layered with this one, which sounds like it has like a little bit of a, like it's pre-shifted ever so slightly, is it? Oh no, it's not. Let's make a little intro. I don't want the Tom in the intro. All these percussive hits. And this we can have. I don't want this whole thing just like this bit. Maybe make this a bit tighter. And the reverb on the clap can come down in the intro. Pretty long intro. 16 bars there. Yeah, let's, we don't need that long of an intro. Wait, let me take this pack, put it there. Leave that.
maybe on this kick I can also shorten it in the intro. Um, where's the kick macros? HDK. actually get to this point let's um maybe start off with this pad over here and this up can
For the piano, I used Noah Felt. Hey, Ember. <clears throat> um, okay, what am I doing now? I'm kind of running out of ideas. I'm running out of creative juice. Mm -hmm. Oh, what I wanted to put in here was like a snare roll of sorts. I might just use um, operator. And I'll put it down here. Uh, what am I looking for? White noise. Oh, I think there's a filter on here.
some random panning, a little bit of spread. Um, and some reverb. What the hell? one more time through the track and then I'm gonna take a break three two one
Yeah, I think um not too sold on the ARP, like as a main idea, might try and get that sounding more like emotional, more compelling. Um but I like everything else. I think it works nicely. I like this um little melody thing comes in, but that again is not super like it's not giving me chills. Let's see how I feel about it tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I'm not sure if I'll be doing Feedback Friday. Maybe I will. We'll see tomorrow. Maybe we can do like an early one. Earlier than usual, at like 12 p.m. or something. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, I didn't use real life, no. But, I mean, I haven't really.